We're putting Rosewood everywhere. Fjerk has gone dark. We're going to tell you all about it. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our spring store link below for custom swag. And yes, check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, with new episodes coming soon. So we saw these at the NAMM show and uh, really kind of turned our heads. These are the new FERC uh, Yellow Dark series. And they're dark because, well, they're dark. And they're dark because they have rosewood tops on them, which is unusual, to say the least. Yeah. Yeah, Chris and I saw, you remember those rainbow guitars from the mm -hmm. 40th anniversary? They did like a special run of some rosewood guitars, and I think they sold out before we even had the opportunity to get them. Yeah. Uh, but of course, we were like, I wonder what that sounds like. Never been done, at least in our store. Yeah, I think the only other time I'd ever seen a rosewood topped guitar was that was solid. Yeah. It was something Cordoba did. I never got to play it. They discontinued it. They did yeah. a different version that was kind of a laminate. Yeah, it was like a layered veneer thing. Of, yeah. yeah. And so it, it's been interesting, and I was anxious to play these. And I, you know, I've already said in a few videos, we were at the FERC uh, booth, and I'm kind of playing it. And if you've been to NAM, you know the struggle. I'm trying to listen to what it sounds like. And uh, Jan and the other guys, they were like, what do you think? And I said, it sounds like a saxophone and drums because that's all you could hear in the booth. They're slamming. So it's been nice to get these in and play them and see what they actually sound like. And they sound great. Yeah. We, uh, a couple years ago, we talked about maple tops mm -hmm. on guitars when it is not typically done. Rosewood, I think, is an even, even crazier proposal because it's so dense mm -hmm. and so famously the classic back and sides wood. Um, but I think, one, it's cool that they did this and on the yellow series because it's not like a necessarily an experiment, like kind of cheaper, right. whatever. This The yellow guitars from FERC continue to be some of their most popular. Really great, typically cedar rosewood or spruce mm -hmm. rosewood. We sell a ton of them because they sound incredible. And so it's cool having kind of that format with Rosewood as the experimental top, and they sound a lot better than I ever imagined that they would. The guitar geek in me is kind of wondering how they're bracing it, and and a big, you know, because I've talked to... Rosewood bracing. <laughs> rosewood <laughs> bracing. We're just going all Rosewood. Um, I've talked to some other builders about doing something like this, and usually... The comment is the top would have to be really, really thin, and it'd be problematic. And this isn't really, really thin. Um, it looks you know. like a normal, you know, <clears throat> well, like anything else, right? Yeah, without getting calipers out or anything, it, it's hard to say. But it doesn't look, you know, demonstrably thinner than a cedar or a spruce top would be. Uh, but they've got to be doing some cool stuff with the bracing. And otherwise, it's really just a beautiful guitar. So the specs on both of these, uh, you know, that this is a dreadnought. Yeah. Um, that's the grand auditorium size, yeah. right? Um, both with cutaways. And they've got all of the great things that make these phenomenal instruments. Goto tuners, the one and three quarter inch nut width. I love the linear side dots that Dirk yeah. uses. It's just, it's a nod to something modern and different. And maybe a flair of the European, you know, build quality that's going into these. Um, and just really great overall aesthetics with the abalone rosette and the these are cool dots too, the, yeah. like outline dots that they're doing. And you've got the Stage Pro Anthem, yeah. which uh, you could probably order this with just the Anthem if you wanted to, or, yeah. or no pickup at all. Were these limited? I'm trying to recall. These are not. So these were part of the kind of first edition program that we had previously talked about with those little jeans. Yeah. Um, so by all the info that we have, these will be standard guitars from FERC, um, and they had some really cool introductions at NAMM, these included, but kind of first edition, we decided, because they all seemed so cool, that we were going to jump in and get all of them, and so yellow darks, there were some new greens, there were some new mm -hmm. violets, and the little janes, you know, they're doing different stuff all over, but the regular yellow series not going away, this is just an addition, um, and... Dreadnought Cutaway, Grand Auditorium Cutaway. There's also an OM uh, with a cutaway, the OMC. And we had it this morning. And it's we gone. 
we brought up these three guitars to shoot from the warehouse because these came in yesterday. And within 30 minutes of us bringing it up, it had already been sold to somebody that was walking in. And yep. so um, they like the sound. I like the sound. We have the Grand Auditorium and the Dreadnought. And we will obviously be ordering another OM because that probably the quickest <laughs> ever that a guitar has ever turned in our store. Um, but yeah, they, they sound super cool. Very different than a regular yellow, you know, I play the cedar top and the spruce tops all the time, just like you. Totally different sound profile, but it's another uh, piece of evidence that wood matters on a guitar. It certainly does. Yeah. Well, let's talk uh, a little bit more about it on the other side, but let's listen to your demos of it and then we'll give it some context. So check it out. So there you have it. It's the Furk uh, Yellow Dark with rosewood tops, rosewood backs, rosewood sides. Um, really bringing a unique sound that I think is going to appeal to a lot of people. What is your take on the tone that they provide? Well, it's definitely compressed. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I was talking with Josh about it after I did the demo. Like, it kind of accentuates that scoop that you talk about really nice clear highs and a lot of bass and just a ton of room in the middle um, I think it's weird because I guess you can make the hypothesis that all the things we talk about with rosewood back and sides overtones and a mid-range scoop would continue on and I think it does I mean the natural kind of reverb and harmonics of these guitars like just playing single note stuff it just all kind of jumps out but definitely not to be too on the nose, definitely a dark sound. Yeah, overall. they yeah. sound thick. Yeah, very <laughs> yeah. thick. Very, very, so if you <clears throat> like really thumpy, chunky sounding acoustic guitars, that's 
kind of how these hit me. Yeah. Um, and I think we're all in unison. We like the GA, but we really like the Dreadnought. Yeah, I, with all of their guitars, I always gravitate towards the GA just because it feels so good and everything. It was noticeably different in sound. And this one, I don't know if it's just a little bit more It's kind of more body, open, yeah. you know, but it just kind of really jumped out, especially with the big old G chord right out the gate. It's just like, wow, it's all there. So, yeah, I really like it. Their necks are also just always, whenever we you know, show anybody these guitars in the store, that's kind of the first thing that people talk about is like how comfortable the neck is. So yeah, you get that chunky big sound, but it still feels like so nice and easy to play and really comfortable. And usually you would think that an all rosewood dreadnought would be just like dark, muddy sound. And this just has so much kind of breath to it. Yeah, no, it's really thick and really chunky <clears throat> and then has that kind of chime yeah. Um, but it's all controlled, you know, so I, I liken it to an all mahogany guitar that's now got bass yeah. and, and treble to it. Um, it's very cool. I, I like that they did this. Um, I'm surprised more builders haven't really tried it, or maybe they have and they, they couldn't get these results. Um, it's interesting. And, and, and to your point on the playability, they are set up just perfectly. Yeah. Just really awesome guitars. Um, and I like that they went with... Uh, tortoiseshell yeah. binding because it, it just goes with the the dark aesthetic yeah. of the dark series so yeah really cool guitars and there is always the option with this brand of doing a rainbow mm -hmm. and so if you like i mean i i would guess they're doing an experiment seeing how people like them i think the experiment was a success and so who's to say that they won't extend this into other series mm -hmm. or whatever but if you like rosewood top FERC sound. Um, we've seen it done in the Rainbow series. We can customize something, and if you want to get a little fancier, get more red style with it, yeah. I think that'd be really cool. But I think for the yellows, it's it's almost like such a perfect like high-end acoustic guitar with no frills, just kind of a showcase of how good the neck is, how good that their construction is, and the tone woods. It's a great place to kind of start with these, and I, I just really like it. Very cool, and part of that Kind of first edition type stuff. Yeah. So if you uh, are interested in these guitars or anything else from FERC, which is a builder that we just love, uh, you can go to our website, which is alamomusic.com. And uh, you can see all the photos there. You can chat with someone live on the website. You can just buy it if you want. Uh, of course, we'll have these in store, and you can call and ask us any questions about it uh, because we love to talk guitars, and we love to talk uh, FERC guitars. All the time. So... Very, very cool. So hit us up online or come in the store and check these out. And let us know in the comments what you think of the tonality. And, you know, I kind of, this has me thinking about other woods that are not traditionally used on the yeah. tops of guitars. Um, you know, like you said, we saw Taylor do it with maple. Uh, Firk's doing it here with rosewood. Uh, what else, you know, might builders utilize? Um, teak. Teak. Some, you know, we're in, we're in South Texas, some mesquite. That'd be a heavy guitar. That would be tight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to send some mesquite over to the Czech Republic, y'all, um, see what comes out. So if you're not uh, already, make sure you have subscribed to this channel. You turn on notifications, like our videos, and of course, keep coming back, and we'll see you next time.